case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 1990, a clash between San Diego Gas and Electric Company and Public Service Company of New Mexico caught the attention of the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit. The confrontation revolved around an energy purchasing contract and the respective rights and obligations of each party. As the dispute unfolded, the contentious issue hinged upon San Diego's claim that the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, FREC, should have removed New Mexico's surplus generating capacity from fixed costs. San Diego also insisted that the contract price should have been adjusted to reflect shifts in the energy market. The Federal Power Act played a pivotal role in this dispute, as it obligated public utility companies to furnish the commission with 60 days' notice before amending their rates. This particular provision, Section 205 of the Power Act, found itself under intense scrutiny during the trial. However, FERC, the governing regulatory body, had previously declined to alter the price or to grant New Mexico a waiver that would allow it to collect the demand charge. This decision was the subject of appeal from both parties concerned. Despite San Diego's plea for a cut in the contract price and an interesting twist involving surplus generating capacity, the court upheld the commission's initial decision. It sided with FARS, endorsing its interpretation of Section 205D of the Federal Power Act. Expressly, the court amplified the critical idea that the 60-day notice requirement is an independent regulatory force that cannot be altered, not even by contract. Furthermore, it stated that the commission is bound to enforce this requirement while acknowledging an allowance for waiving it under appropriate circumstances. The court surmised that despite the penalty being high in proportion to the alleged fault by New Mexico, FERC's denial of a waiver was not an abuse of discretion. Thus, the petitions for review were denied. In this energy tale, the court's verdict ultimately underscored the sanctity of contract stability and the necessity of regulatory compliance. Culminating a legal tussle that garnered nationwide attention, the eventual court ruling had left an indelible mark in the realm of public utility regulations. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class